World record schedule. Cam Wara is in there. Sondra Moen is in there. I'm not sure that's wise, but he's going for it. It'll be one of those death or glory days for him. But he's in there carrying the flag for Scandinavia and North. Vi så ikke være rigtig søde og smide dem ud i siden af ruten, gerne ud over hegnet. Vi har set et par stykker, der har været lige ved at falde i sådan lidt flyvende plastik. Så helt ud til siden, så skal vi nok sørge for at rydde op efter jer sammen med alle de mange frivillige, som hjælper til med den del. We uh, have uh, reached the five kilometer mark, Jeff, uh, and the first uh, guys there was running in 13 minutes and 51 seconds. That's just two seconds out of the pace that April. And if you watch the flags on the screen now, you can see that they have the wind against them, headwind. And as you all know, it's tough winds today. That means something too for the speeds. They are at uh, Frederiksberg, Falconer Ali. Not for the shopping. They don't have time for that. Still good crowds because now with the designated pacemaker bid that I can see all the others are yellow backed with individual runner numbers. So it's just this one guy to try and carry it through the next uh, almost seven kilometers. That's that's a tall order. And only pacemaker. seven guys left in the pack. Jeffrey Camora in second. Well, let's see. What what should we be expecting for uh, a world record split at 10 kilometers? It's coming up in the next 100 meters or so. Yeah. There it is. 27.36 and uh, that 27.40 is world record pace so four seconds inside yeah. unofficially but these two are away the lone pacemaker and Kamwara the greatest half marathon runner of all time the three times world champion and we get the official split time even a little faster 27.32 for Kamwara so he's well in world record pace But what's happening now, that is uh, not so good for him. That means 11 kilometers to run on his own. You uh, can see his teeth and uh, a Kenyan grinning like that is a tired Kenyan. Of course he is. 13 kilometers in world record pace. Som vi snakker om her, vi kigger på en ensom majestæt. En mand, som uh, kan gøre arbejdet færdigt. Han er i medvinden på Kalvebåd Brygge. I kan godt glæde jer. Ruten den er blevet varmet 100% godt op til jer. Rigtig god tur. Det der regnvejr, det var bare et lille forbipasserende et. Vi ved, der er solskin på Frederiksberg. Det er der næsten altid derude. Så It should be any second now. 41.30 is world record pace. We're on 41.30. Has he gone through it, or is it coming up in the next few seconds? Five seconds down. Anything more than 10 seconds, I think, would be a tall order for him to raise. Although he has got track speed, as we know. This is 10k now. 41.03, wow. So he's 27 seconds inside world record schedule. So he is through 15 kilometers. We were looking for it on screen, and I think it was before the cameras picked up on him. This is actually a crazy time. 41 minutes and three seconds for the 15 kilometer mark. And this is a Kenyan grinning. He's working so hard. If he can keep up this pace, he's going to be well under 58 minutes. This, ladies and gents, this is history being written here in Copenhagen. We need you to cheer for this guy all over the city for the last five, six kilometers. Better in the existing events are called. A little less than 3.5 kilometers, a little more actually, to go for Jeffrey. Looks like he's accelerating, doesn't it, yeah. at the moment? Looks like he's starting his finishing sprint. And he was actually very disappointed when he finished third in Aarhus. Afterwards, he talked about training in the wrong way with the wrong team because he didn't stay with his usual team in Kaptagat. Now he has been doing his training with uh, all his friends. And uh, it seems that it has worked out very well for him. He's going to be here in about 10 minutes. He's all alone. And this is probably a world record in Copenhagen. 
Well, it is amazing, and there is no sign of the chasing group now. I think he's going to win this by over a minute if things hold together. A little bit sparse for spectators. That's the course measurer, Maurice, uh, just behind him, who got up at 7 o'clock this morning on his bike with his measuring wheel just to ratify it again, just in case he was measuring a world record course, and it looks like he was. Well, Jeffrey Kamwara has a very special relationship with Copenhagen. He won the world half marathon here in 2014. It put this race on the map. It put him on the map. He's gone on to win every world half marathon since, including falling over on the start line in Cardiff and still getting up to beat Mo Farah to win his second title and then winning again with a blowtorch finish in Valencia last year. But this is going to be perhaps the biggest news of his road running career so far because he is on schedule to absolutely annihilate the world record on the streets of Copenhagen. So let's get down to the rail, get your cameras ready. Let's make it a sight and sound that he'll remember as well as all of us. Jeffrey Kambora is reaching for the world record. Well, if you're in the uh, finishing straight stance, just have a look at the finish line. Have you ever seen so many cameras waiting for a little bit of history? You'll be seeing pictures of this for years to come. And right now, you can hear the helicopter positioning itself above. He's making the final turns. He's through 20 kilometers, 1.1 kilometer to go. He needed to be through there in 55.20, and he's through, well, we'll tell you the split in a minute. But we're hoping for the 58 minute barrier to be broken as well. That's gonna be pretty close. 54, 58 is the split time for the 20 kilometer. This is absolutely fantastic. It's gonna be only a few seconds before he's gonna turn and get into Öster Ali, and he needs to hear the cheer from all of you. We can see the lead cars now, they're gonna pull off, and then the leader of the world running right now will be here, waiting for the cheer, ladies and gentlemen. It's Jeffrey Kamora going for the world record. So he can see the finish line. He's got just over 500 meters to run. We're on, just coming up to 57 minutes. Can he break 58 minutes? He's gonna smash the world record. The old world record and the new world record set at the super half of Copenhagen. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be just outside 58 minutes. A world record to Kamora. Tusind, tusind tak, København. Kig på storskærmen. Se denne her mand, der ligger så ned. Men han ved udmærket godt, at hvis der er nogen, der står op i atletikverdenen lige nu, så er det Jeffrey Kamora World Record. Og jeg tror, at i købet, vi lige har kræfter til at løbe en runde og få publikums hyldest. Jeffrey Kamora kan næsten ikke selv forstå det. Han har vundet verdensmesterskaber, alt hvad man overhovedet kan. Men her skriver han sig og København lige ind i historiebøgerne. Verdensrekord, mine damer og herrer. And you did it the hard way. You took it on uh, for more than half the distance on your own. Was it tough? The, the weather was not so favorable, but to me, I was really prepared. And I was able to yeah. it. And how does it compare to your world titles? To be the fastest man in history over the distance, that must surely top a world title. Uh, actually, I won uh, many titles, but always my fans told, always tell me that you are the one to break the record, and I always told them time will come. And actually, this was the time. I, I met the team with the world, uh, the world championship 10,000, but I decided to skip to focus on this race because I was saying uh, something special, and that's really happened. I thank God. And uh, as you can all see now, the world record, the pending world record, is 58 minutes and one second, set by Kenyan Jeffrey Kamwara. And we have great times for the rest of the runners too, but they're far behind him. Bernard. Six men, six men under 60 minutes is yes. an amazing uh, depth of quality. That, they were so far behind. That tells the story about the fast course here in Copenhagen. That's why we are the part of the super halves. And uh, now we are the super half of the super halves because of the world record.